Hi, welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. Architecture has always tested the boundaries of design and physics. To create this century's leading designs, architects rely on structural and mechanical engineers to execute their vision. I'm Allison Tupperwine. CST Covers, a company noted for their ability to create custom roof structures, was hired to engineer and manufacture the canopy for the Francis A. Gregory Library in Washington, D.C. The library design featured a huge aluminum canopy that is cantilevered 40 feet from the front supports. Not only is it cantilevered, but the canopy also features a series of subtle curves, adding extra challenges for the engineering team in both fitting the assembly together and in performing stress calculations. You might be surprised to learn that over a span of 40 feet, even rigid aluminum beams will sag. So in order for the canopy to lie flat in place, it actually has to be engineered with a camber that will then sag flat. We spoke with Michael Gamber at CST Covers about what design challenges they faced in engineering a pre-cambered canopy that slopes in multiple directions. The project's architects initially conceived the canopy as a solid welded form, but the design team at CST Covers quickly realized that that approach would require materials and manufacturing costs that would crater the budget and timeline. So CST Covers engineers switched to an assembly approach. They developed a hub and tube structure that could be assembled on site in stages. Because the canopy's design curves in multiple directions, creating the pre-cambered effect for the canopy wasn't just a simple task of adjusting the structure's connection points along a vertical and horizontal axis. Each hub in the canopy had to be designed to fit the pre-cambered shape of the structure. Designing each hub individually would have taken longer than it takes a Twinkie to grow mold. To make sure the canopy was built before the release of Fast and the Furious 18, Michael and his team created a smart model of the hub that compensated for the slope of the structure along all of its axes. To have the hub compensate for the canopy slope, a virtual twisting method was developed to find the placement of each subsequent hub and the tubes that would connect the segments. CST covers realized that to achieve the pre-camber, the beams would technically twist and then straighten back out in their final resting place. Because the models of the tubes cannot twist, the twist in the structure was applied to the hub smart model. This extremely complex model mimics the theoretical twists of each tube along its slope, as well as the sagged version so that the bolt pattern of each tube and hub connection would be uniform. Without this breakthrough, the pre-camber of the canopy combined with its complex geometry would have made connecting each segment too complex to manufacture accurately. In the end, around 450 hubs, 900 tubes, and 30,000 bolts were needed to ensure that the canopy shape was true to the architect's vision. Michael Gamber and his team at CST Covers were able to simplify this process by using PTC's Creo software to create their smart hubs and tubes. In addition, CST Covers used PTC's EFX software package to quickly configure the correct placement of the holes and fasteners in the structure. You can see Creo Parametric in action, the same software that CST Covers used to engineer the canopy of the Francis A. Gregory Library at ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.